So obviously most of you are aware what's going on with Joe Rogan. He's going through a bit of a hell, um, hellish situation at the moment where, you know, if it wasn't enough that they were trying to consistently and frequently cancel him because of his alternative or somewhat um, fringe views, which are now largely accepted regarding COVID and regarding maybe alternative medication um, or alternative approaches to dealing with COVID in terms of ivermectin, all that kind of blah, 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 you know, the normal stuff is going on over there. Now it seems like they've kind of decided that, you know, they, if that didn't get him out of there, they want to now paint him as a racist. So this video compilation has gone around of, you know, um, Joe Rogan basically dropping mad M-bombs on his um, podcast. So much so that a tracker that someone made which basically kept a log of all the Joe Rogan shows on the archive and basically was able to kind of tally up the ones that went missing. I think initially when Joe Rogan episode, um, podcast ported over to Spotify, 40 immediately weren't available. And I think at the time, Joe Rogan never explained it, but basically what we would heard later on down the line was that for Spotify didn't want those episodes. But in the last few weeks or the last couple of days, Joe Rogan has now deleted 70 more episodes that basically featured him maybe saying the N-word in a very flagrant and obtuse way. And um, yeah, which is quite a nuts approach, but it seems like everyone's coming after him and they obviously want to cancel him. But a really funny, interesting video came up funny interesting video does that even make sense an interesting video came up that basically features um one joey diaz and milo yanapolis right yanapolis i mean to say his name basically predicting some of what's been occurring with joe rogan especially milo's case i think joey first of all is kind of you know teasing joe Joe, Joe Rogan because he first had to his first kind of apology for maybe speaking out of side of his mouth about something I forgot what the actual reason was but Joe Diaz was kind of poking fun basically saying that look at our guy look at how much he's changed now since he's had the cash in that Spotify check it's not all rainbows and unicorns you're now responsible and you now basically you basically have bosses that you basically have to report to in some way shape or form and I think these videos are very um funny to look back on considering everything that's happened with joe rogan within the last couple of days and whatnot but let's kind of play it quickly and we can jump on to some other things once we've done that whoops let me get this make sure it's zoomed in a bit more yep zoomed in right yep zoomed in there Let's play this. Joe Rogan and milo basically poking fun at joe t uh, joe rogan <laughs> i love this clip Joe Rogan, he put the apology up. They would tell him, go record. He, he was, that's hard for my dog. Yeah. My heart goes out to him. He had to put an apology up and shit. I guess he. Things look good when he was, things look good in the basement, dog. <laughs> Once you take that Spotify money, <laughs> you got to start apologizing <laughs> and making believe you care about trannies and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now he's got to go to a tranny parade and donate $10 every month. <laughs> go play the, any day now, you'll see Rogan hanging out with trannies down in Austin, jumping up and down. You know, the poor guy. That's what happens when you get that money. When you cash that big check, you got to watch what you say. Aren't you lucky you're independent now? You guys were upset for a couple of weeks. Um, nobody wants to give us any money. Did you see him? He's got to do the apology. My name is Joe Rogan. I don't kill people. I can't go kill deer no more. He can't do nothing no more. A hundred million. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joey. Uh, Joey. Uh, shit. All right. Okay, let me unlock yeah. a mystery for you. Nothing that you say specifically on any subject. There's no one utterance. We're, we're bred to believe that people kind of uh, kill their careers because they, oh, he misspoke. He made a joke. That was, no. This only happens when somebody's already in the sights. Somebody's yes. already yeah. Joe, Joe, Joe Rogan, for instance, is one of the next big ones to fall. Yeah. He's one of the next ones on the, on the chopping block. And they're going to come to come for him uh, for sort of enabling and giving a platform to the extreme right. Yeah. Now, Joe has a lot of legitimate. That started already. You see well, like Joe the whispers has, of it. He right. just ignores it. He doesn't really acknowledge well, it. Well, he ignores it for as long as he can for, for now. But I mean, he has a lot, lot of legitimately A list friends. So, so not you, but. but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know it's you're, okay. You're, 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 good, you're, good. you're lovely, but um, he does have some like legit A-list friends, and he's also represented by top rank um, uh, talent agencies and all the rest of it. This is all going to go away within the next six months. Oh. This is all happening within within you know the next six months because he's going to be you, he's me. going to be presented as an, you should promise sure. you uh, he's going to be presented as an example of somebody who has enabled or given a platform to the alt right whatever the fuck that is uh, you know the, okay so. 
I happen to know who's in the crosshairs because I know a lot of the people who orchestrate this stuff. Well, it takes and a while. That's why, though, right? why not, what? It is. It's orchestrated, and it also takes a while. It's we heard just, about it's not just orchestrated, um, Aziz. But it's funded. It's funded and orchestrated. As soon as, as soon as about yeah, just to back up. By the way, what as, Lewis is saying, I remember hearing about that Louis was going to oh, get Louis that was Louis was going to get written mm-hmm. up like months before the right. New York Times piece came out, and Aziz is, like, Aziz months Aziz before too. the thing Aziz came out. TJ, I heard both of those things. T- and okay. I, I can name another. I don't want to name another so, comic. Me because it didn't I, know happen. Another, I know another comic. It's uh, coming. Big name, clean comic that's coming that I've been hearing. Dude, for like don't two don't years. do it. So you, Cosby, he's going down. People, squeaky clean, but don't let that fool you. Sell your stock. <laughs> so you guys haven't heard this yet about him. You probably will in about two months, and then in about four months after that, it'll happen. Now, um, wow. the problem with, with, with him is he's actually big enough and strong enough and famous enough and powerful enough to ride it out. Yep. But he's chosen not to. And if you look at the... What do you mean he's chosen not to do what? Well, look at the look at the choice of guests in the last six months. I mean, the guy used to have, you know, me, Gavin McGinnis, and inter- he used to have interesting people, and now he's retreated. Just into Ari. S- now he's well. Now he just has you and David Pearson. Go Yeah. I mean, you don't even fight. You know, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like <laughs> yeah. I like you. Yeah, you got he's, a bad win. He had, he had no, malice on a exa- week ex- ago. Exactly. He, had- he still has. He has Ben Shapiro and. Um, uh, and Jordan Peterson. These are the safest of the safe. Well, Jones, Alex alert. Jones, he just had on again. Probably Alex got... Jones is a cartoon character. I yeah. love Alex, and it's I know him. Alex personally, and off camera and on camera, Alex is the same person, all the rest of it. But as far as the media is concerned, he's a cartoon character. So, yeah, you, you get the drift there. 